Hey Queen, so um, I wanted to do like a swatch video on either one of these, but I really don't know. They like just match the really like natural summer look that I have going on. Not that I really like made this a look, but you know, I'm not really wearing much today because I tried getting ready in time and I did not have enough time to get ready. So anyways, um, my head also got stuck in traffic, so I came back home and I was just like, whatever. Um, but anyways, I wanted to like show you all a little bit of something else instead, so maybe um, tomorrow or the day after I'll actually get ready and like try to make like an eye look that can match either one of these colors or something like that just so it's not so like bleh you know I, I don't I mean I could still but whatever that's besides the point but anyways I wanted to show you all this weird little like backpack thing that I got so if you follow me on Instagram and I think Twitter I don't think I put it on my Facebook um, but I think I got this I want to say maybe four-ish days ago I could be wrong about that but um, it's this weird little BB studded backpack, and if you also know, if you have followed me for a while, you do know that I have those Lady Gaga and Versace sunglasses, the black ones that are like studded and stuff. So those ones I really, really like. But also one thing is I can never really wear sunglasses because of makeup. And I don't you ever like watch the Kardashians? I'm like, how the fuck do you wear that? Because like you know they're like very thick and heavy. So like like honestly, all this part of my nose would be gone, and like the sides would be like smudged off so it's really annoying people are like oh setting spray or like a uh, translucent powder i'm using the cody airspun which kind of helps but i know wearing bigger glasses and so they like it would come off so i'd have to be like amber rose and just leave it on forever um but i basically got this backpack to match it now there are like i think two or three other different versions of it and they're all i think at tj maxx and ross because i obviously didn't pay full price and i heard that bb stores are closing i don't know if that's true or not and Michael Kors is like one of the next ones aside from like Susan stuff so who knows but this was the one that like matched it the most the other ones had like crystals or like they had a lot of like that Chanel like um ropey leather kind of a look to it and I kind of like them but I really wanted this one for when I first saw it at Macy's and then I never got it so then I found it again and I was so happy so anywho enough talking about it I believe the regular price on this was about 89 ish or 79 ish dollars probably close to 90 ish with tax you know whatever state you live in or anything like that and I got it for, I think it was about $32 after tax. It was like $29.99. So it's a little bit cheaper than when I had first seen it for, I think, $50 or $45. And then it was like $35 and then it was $29. So, you know, $32, I think, was a pretty good deal. Anything like that. And it is like, you know, it looks cool. So I like it. But anyways, this is it. This is the BB bag. And I saw someone on here. I forgot her um thing but like i like looked at bb backpacks just to see if anyone had this specific one i haven't come across one but i come across the other ones that look similar which i do like but this one like really spoke to me because of my sunglasses so as you can see it has studs and hardware just all over and it also has its little bb tag which i didn't see on other backpacks so i was pretty glad that i found this one it actually still had its bb tag because i was like well shit you know like that's cool so there it says bb and stuff and i also like this one was kind of like weird at first i wasn't feeling it and then now i am so it has also these little like rounded I guess like little beady studs on like little leather things. Now I don't I don't think this is real leather. Um so I mean if you know leave it down in the comments below because I don't. And also sorry if like the camera keeps moving a lot. I mean you guys know I record on my phone and like my stand is just it's a mess. So you know, we we do what we can around here. <laughs> but um again this is what it looks like and I really like this and it yeah, I kind of like that sound. Um, but it's so cool. And, like, this little thing is also real small. Oh, I have a receipt in here. <laughs> but, yeah, I carry, like, my little Cherry Mugley and my Givenchy lotions. Oh, wait, no, this is Bulgari. <laughs> Never mind. And I have, like, some random samples of fragrance that I get from Nordstrom's and stuff like that. Because, like, you can make your own and they're free. So, you know, I just... You always got to smell good. And then on the inside... Oh, also, this zipper. Um, it says BB on it. Oh, it still has plastic on it. Well, I'll just leave it there, I guess. Whatever. Um, but on the inside, it can actually carry a lot. There's, like, also a little, like, BB leathery thing right here that you can see. But as you can see, I have a water bottle. And then I also carry my wallet and a pack of gum in here. I usually have my wallet in my pocket, but because I thought, like, I was going to go and get something out real fast, um, I had it in there, but obviously that didn't happen. And then my battery pack. And also, what also really does fit in here is I have my little, like... It's like a travel case that I got from Mojave uh, like a long time ago as a free gift for purchase at Ulta. So that fits in here with the Cody Airspun and my It Cosmetics brush and sometimes my Jeffree Star Skin Frost, which I did say I was carrying in here, but of course it's right here because I was going to film and use a mirror, but you know, 
But a lot of stuff actually fits in here. There's, I mean, you can like not really see anything, but that's what it is. And there's also this like little thing that you have here, like a divider almost. And you can fit a lot of stuff. So I usually have my sunglass case. Now I do have mostly Versace sunglasses. So if you have that size of a case, you know, I usually put that at the bottom. And then I put other stuff on it, like my battery pack and then like a water and stuff and then the makeup pouch, which usually I used to carry things in my hand or like in my pocket. But I mean, to have a huge ass battery pack, your wallet, your pack of gum and one, then your phone and like my iPod and the other one was kind of like, it was a lot to carry. So it's pretty cool because that's what I kind of wanted, you know, and I had seen like this medicine bag style purse thing that I wanted. But then in my mind, I was like, ugh, because you know, like I, I just feel like a backpack is easier. And also the style is pretty cool. So whether I'm going to be wearing, you know, makeup or whatever. And then also, if you guys know, like, my Taylor Swift, like, duffel bag that I usually use, like, it popped. So when I had that at South by Southwest and stuff, like, it's nice and all, but it was kind of, like, they're not the best to carry everything that you want to carry. Especially now that I'm wearing makeup, because, you know, if I'm going to be filming or something, or if I go to South by Southwest and there's photos taken, you may want to touch up or something. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, if I get bigger makeup things, like, I can put it in here with, you know, a pack of water and my battery pack and stuff like that. Like, the essentials that I need. Or, like, if, you know, I'm going to do, like, a little trip, you know, to a nearby town that's, like, two hours away or an hour and a half away, then, you know, this would be pretty cool to carry. And kind of stylish also. And it's, like, kind of small on me because I'm very, like, tall and also kind of big. But, um, I, I really like it. And I've gotten, like, mixed reviews in public about it. People look at me, like... Or they look at it like, oh, you know, that's kind of cool. Or they're kind of just like laughing at me. But I'm like, whatever, you know, it's cool. I like it. But this is like the little BB backpack that I got. And hopefully if you guys can find it and you can get it, that's pretty cool. And it also has these um like little side pockets, which are kind of smallish. Like I really wouldn't know what you would want to carry in there. Because I mean, like even like, let's say like a Jeffree Star lipstick. Like, I mean, I guess you could put it in there. But I mean, I'd be more afraid of it falling out. So, I mean, obviously you would want to put that in there and stuff like that so i'm not really sure what you would put on the side like i'm just looking around at stuff that i have because i tried putting fragrance samples in there but i was still kind of in my mind thinking like well wouldn't they fall out so again maybe if you know you're going to be somewhere stationary for a while or stationed for a while so to speak like let's say you go to your class or something like maybe you could put your car key like that little key fob part in there with the key because i have a key so i can probably put that and then like my little keychains would hang out but like i mean if you're going to be walking around stuff that you probably don't want it in there because i'm going to take it out or it would fall and you probably wouldn't notice. But yeah, I really I really don't know what you put in there except maybe like, you know, if you have a travel pair of earphones that are like, you know, $5 or something at the dollar store. Also, that can go in there. But overall, I like it. And the structure is really, really good. Like when you put stuff in there, like it holds. And of course, there's like a lot of paper in there when you get it. But I mean, this is just a pretty cool backpack. Like it's small, but it's not so small that like nothing's going to fit in there. Like, I mean, a whole freaking water bottle fits whether I have it like laying down or if I had it standing up like you guys saw, like, it, there's, there's a good amount of stuff you can fit. Now, obviously, it's not going to be, like, a regular size backpack where you can put, like, a shitload of stuff in there. But, I mean, if you're traveling, doing, like, little things, you may, you can put battery packs, charger cables, um, like, a little, like, touch-up kit or something, like, your little powder and, like, a little mini brush. And one thing that I really want to do was, I know Real Techniques has, like, a little three mini set of brushes. And I thought of, like, getting that as a travel brush to go thing and, like, maybe another powder or something, you know. But, I mean, it's a it's a pretty good backpack, you guys. I'm not going to lie. And for, like, $32, I was pretty surprised. And, obviously, these straps are, I think they were, like, this small at first. And I was like, oh, shit, like, this is not going to fit. Not even one arm. And then, I mean, you just, like, kind of thread it through, like, I guess, a belt or something. And it, it gets longer. And with this, it's kind of, like, in the middle of my back. So, like, it kind of touches, like, you know, like, how your back arches in and, like, your butt's there. Like, that's kind of where it lands for me. And... I think it's kind of perfect because, I mean, it is like a little backpack, so, you know, I mean, my arms are not just going to go like that. It's like one and then one, but obviously you can make it longer, but it's going to drop a little bit more. So I like where it sits on me. It's kind of like if I had it in like the middle of my stomach on my back. So I think it's a pretty cool look. And obviously when I do wear the matching sunglasses and I have like my little cap on and stuff when I'm not wearing makeup, you know, you kind of feel cool and stylish with it. So if you can find this at like a TJ Maxx or a Ross or like a Marshalls or something like that, I would highly suggest getting one of these because they're really good. And if you can find it, like, for $29 or a little bit less, I mean, you should get it. Because I know the regular price is about, like, $79-ish, $80, $90 after tax. So, I hope you kind of like this little, like, reveal kind of a thing. I don't know. I really want to share it with y'all. So, thought I'd just make, like, a little video of it. And it is, like, black and gold hardware and everything like that. So, I'll be using this all summer. And I did plan on using this for, like, a really cool event thing that... I was going to, but then, like, that thing kind of got, like, 
canceled. So, I mean, there goes that exciting video. But hopefully there, it comes out again in another year or something like that so I can actually go and vlog for y'all. But anywho, I want to say hi to Rami Malek. Stay safe and God bless. Mr. Robot Fungo Pops, I know we're pushed back. So hopefully they're coming out, like, you know, actually coming out at the end of this month. I haven't seen them anywhere I have. If you have, let me know. I know some people have. Um, but again, season three of Mr. Robot does come out in October. So don't worry. It is coming out. I know the summer is kind of boring because our Wednesday is like, what are we going to do with it? But um, anywho, hi to Rami Malek. Stay safe and God bless y'all.